This is Liana with Wet Noses Pet Sitting, and we are a pet sitting company and dog walking company in Northern Colorado. And as part of our pet care tip series, I'm here today with Kathy with Canine Wisdom. And do you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a certified dog trainer, and uh, the Canine Wisdom mainly focuses on aggression cases, reactivity cases, and cases that involve shy, timid, shut down dogs. Okay, wonderful. Awesome. So for our series, we're just asking, what is the one thing that you believe all pet lovers should know? So I mean, I think the main focus should be on when they're younger to properly socialize them. There's a ton of information out there about mm -hmm. socialization. Yes. Not all of it's correct. And so it's really important for dog owners to know when they own a puppy, how crucial it is for them to socialize so that they don't mm -hmm. end up here for aggression or reactivity or anxious nervousness. Okay. So what kind of things do you recommend that people do to socialize their puppies? Since you said a lot of people, there's wrong things out there. Right. So the main thing is socialization around other dogs and people. Mm -hmm. It's also around novel items and all the crazy weird things that we do as people. So mm -hmm. if you're walking down the street and you look around, I mean, we have a lot of weird, interesting things around us. Yes. And it's really important to create positive associations with the young puppies so that they start to grow up thinking, oh, basically everything comes equipped with good things. Okay. That way they're going to be confident. They're going to think that the world around them is positive and they're not going to be so worried about, you know, mm -hmm. strollers or bicycles or umbrellas or tall people or short people you know dogs don't understand that we come equipped in smaller packages such yes. as toddlers or babies unless they're you know socialized properly around that and it's not just mm -hmm. showing them you know like here's a baby it's here's a crying baby mm -hmm. and a two-year-old that's running around with things and objects in their hands and yes. saying look these things are good things they come equipped with you know treats and toys and mm -hmm. what to do whenever they do encounter that kind of situation so people should expose their dogs to as many things as possible when they're young and make sure that there's a positive absolutely sort of reaction to that i guess suppose so. yep okay because we see that a lot of pet sitters that oh, you I know, bet. we go into houses and people you know dogs are afraid of hats the dogs are afraid of men and the dogs are afraid of yep. you know endless things like that so that's not unusual yeah oh yeah because they i mean i call them attachments right mm -hmm. hats large jackets um umbrellas strollers all these things that look like they just kind of grow off of our bodies <laughs> To the dog that wasn't socialized around that, that looks really scary, you know? That so they become sense. something to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. And then usually those, you know, people move by quickly, you know, kids in, you know, a stroller yelling at the puppy mm -hmm. as it goes by. Now we just made a novel situation turn into something fearful. And the yes. puppy just makes a little mental check note. Oh, strollers, kind of creepy, kind of scary. Sure. Then they get older and they start to become reactive to it. They bark, they lunge, they growl, mm -hmm. or they hide behind their owner, and right? And people wonder where it came from yep. because they can't remember anything that stands out. Exactly. But it stood out for the dog. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So like puppy kindergarten classes, we do all sorts of weird things. We have people wear goofy hats. We have a stroller that we push mm -hmm. this little creepy, you know, doll around in. <laughs> and people toss treats and we play lots of fun games and we have them go, you know, mm -hmm. through, you know, like, um, um, you know, just through things like objects, you know, all these kind of things that are down here, you know, mm -hmm. and wobble boards and things like that so that we gain confidence with our puppies mm -hmm. and show them that, look, the world's not so scary to navigate in. And sometimes, you know, if you're nervous, we can create quickly positive associations with it. That's fantastic. So, I yeah. love it. That's awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. Yep, absolutely. Um, so if people want to get in touch with you, how can they find you? Um, website's the best way. So caninewisdomtraining.com. Mm -hmm. So Fantastic. yeah, our Facebook page is always great too. So, you know, okay. just Facebook canine wisdom. Awesome. And I'll have all these yeah. links and everything in the comments and stuff below. So you guys can take a look and just click on that. Um, but thank you very much yeah, for being absolutely. here. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. <laughs>